Yeah, g'day scrappers. Just wanted to talk about inkjet printers, whether they be the standalone type inkjet printers or or the ones with a um, a scanner on the top. Um, they're basically inside. They're basically pretty much exactly the same, except the ones with the scanners have a little bit more to them. Um, thing I like about the scanning printers, or even just um, flatbed scanners are the CCD sensors. Um, they're little, you know, each one will come sort of where that bar runs runs along. There's a like a, a little mechanism there and inside that mechanism will be one of these CCD sensors. And um, they come in various shapes, but these are all look pretty much the same. Um, there's, uh, there's gold ones and there's silver ones. Um, usually most of them are gold, like even these silver ones will have a little bit of gold inside in, in various areas. They just look silvery because they'll probably be more silver, but the gold ones, you know, really do stand out. They even have gold legs in most cases and, uh, you can really, you know, you can see the gold. Uh, I haven't, you know, you know, attempted to process anything yet, and I'm not sure how to process, go about processing these. I'd imagine just uh, treating them <coughs> a little bit like uh, <coughs> IC chips, and um, perhaps take, removing them and incinerating, incinerating the whole CCD sensor, and uh, processing it like that. But I like to collect these um, and just uh, put them aside and. Um, you know, one day I might do something with them. Yeah, so with the uh, printers, um, just like in a laser printers, the first thing I usually go for is the, uh, the ink cartridges. And a lot of ink cartridges are good for uh, gold recovery pieces. Um, these Epsoms, Epsoms are really good. Uh, usually every ink cartridge will have a bit of gold like you see this little tag here, it's a gold plated tag, um, mostly Epsoms, another Epsom. Uh, cannons are hit and miss, sometimes they'll have the larger ones with the ribbon, but a, a lot of times they won't have um, things. I'll just get, it, get another one that I lost that. Right. So yeah, but these Epsoms are, are always got good little gold tabs in them. So they just sort of pop out pretty easily. And that's it, you got, you got a little bit of uh, gold plating on both sides there. You can remove this little black sort of like IC or whatever it is. And uh, there's some gold underneath that too. But, uh, so every cartridge will, will have them. And so before I send off the ink cartridge to recycling, um, I try and remove those little gold tabs. Last one, another tab. And then inside the actual um, the caddy, where those gold tabs meet, you can see those little gold pins. Um, so I'll, I'll remove this whole unit, take it out, and those uh, little square little square modules with gold pins in them they'll just pop out so that's basically what we do with uh, inkjet printers and the same with uh, other styles like you've got these larger ones um, and another kind of setup so this one's also an Epsom so if I can just slide over the, the caddy Well, this one's got what seven, seven little cartridges. So each one should have a little gold tab. We'll just have a look if we can get one out. Come on, bugger! Okay. So once again, we've got a little gold tab here. Should just pop out. 
So there's nothing else on these cartridges, so send that off to recycling. And that's your little gold tab there, double sided, a little bit on that side. So you just process these just as you would gold fingers. And then the same deal, they should have a little, wherever the uh, gold tab meets, it should have a little pin, sort of around the back. Don't know if you can see it, but there's little pins in there we're going to take out as well. So that's uh, Epson style, he's a HP. Um, same deal here, it's got your ink cartridges in here. With this one, this HP, it's actually got two sets of cartridges. So these little ones here, um, it's got these little ribbons. Okay, so you got you got the ribbon with these gold dots, and you also got a little tab of gold here, right? But these tabs are a little bit different. They're they're kind of they're more glued on. They're they're a lot thinner, but that down. But they're a, a really good little gold tab, and uh, um, doesn't look like anything on the other side, but. Uh, you know, these are going to be an easy to uh, refine, you know, to, to get the gold off of these. Just throw them in with your fingers. Um, you know, take off this uh, black stuff. Like that. And you can throw this whole thing in with your fingers. Gold recovery. Okay, so that's that was the top part. And then the bottom part, you've got the little ribbon. So we just take off the little ribbon there. We've got some gold tabs there, nothing on that side. So there's no real gold going through these wires. Um, it's just copper wire usually. Sometimes there might be, but yeah, it's mostly the gold that's exposed. So you can just cut this off and then process this in with your gold fingers. So that's two little bits there and then these other cartridges, a bit tricky. They don't look like they've got a tab, but if you see inside here, in there, there's a little gold tab as well. And so these ones you have to sort of just pop out. And there you go. So we've got a, another gold tab. So a little bit different to that's the one we just took out and that's the other one so they're a little bit different but uh, usually there's four cartridges here four cartridges in the back so so a lot of gold good little start to um, you know collecting gold recovery items out of printers so even though bubble, uh, you know, bubble jet, inkjet printers are, are lower in value, they still have some good gold recovery stuff, you know. Um, there's the pins will be down there that meet with these, and there's, yep, there's also uh, where these meet. Uh, there's also another ribbon with little gold dots on it inside. So when we take out that caddy, we'll get that um, that thing. And, Another version um, of an Epsom, same deal, it's got these, um, just wanted to see if I could find one with a little bit different, but yeah, they're, they're all, you know, pretty much the same, they've either, they've either got these little ribbons here or they're going to have, um, mostly Epsoms will have these little gold tabs and others we'll have these ribbons that we take off and also inside. So I'll, I'll open up a couple of PCs to get the caddy out. So I'll do, do this one here and we'll, we'll get this little caddy out and get those little gold pins out and we'll also scrap it out, see what we get out of it. There's not much. We get more out of the flatbed scanner type inkjet printers. So we take out the the cartridges again take out the um, 
you know, remove all the plastic. And then we also get to this, um, get rid of the glass. Uh, in a lot of cases, this steel bar going across, I keep them and we'll get to the CCD sensor. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come back with a, um, a few of these scrapped out. And uh, just to give you an idea of what we're getting out of inkjet printers. Um, and speaking of printers, here's a, here's a monster of a printer. This is a large format printer. It's a large, it's a Canon. It's a very good quality. To give you an example, that's just a regular Canon printer next to it. And you can see how big it is. It's, uh, you know, it's over three foot wide and it's about two foot deep and uh, it's kind of it's more like a um, um, it's a bit like a laser printer I guess it does you it doesn't you really use ink cartridges more toner cartridges but you can see this just this paper bar it's a you know really nice aluminium piece of aluminium rod there so you know definitely you know keep that as aluminium uh, yeah so we'll go through this another day but just wanted to show you the, the different variations of these of printers that you can get <coughs> this is uh, for really large pieces of paper and like doing architect plans and stuff like that uh, it's quite modern but it doesn't work but uh, yeah so that's a comparison so pretty interesting anyway I'll get back to uh, I'll get onto these ones and we'll see how we go Okay, well, I've uh, scrapped open uh, four, four of the printers, two of the standard inkjet printers, and two of them with the um, scanner tops on them. Um, so we'll just have a little, uh, little quick glance. So that's the little caddy that we, um, we took the cartridges out of. And as you can see in there, there's the the little ink cartridge, uh, the little, um, those, those little modules with, um, okay. yeah, so got these little, little parts where the ink cartridge, um, little tags, um, slide onto. So, so there'll be four of them and then get those out so you know there you go it's, so we add these to the pile um, these are like you can see the little pin here um, so we just take out all these little pins and throw them in with the your um, pins and then inside there's another little a little circuit board with again with little um, gold plating on it if I can just sort of if I can crack it out somehow. Usually I just bust these open. Um, you, know, you can just use a hammer or something. But, uh, I'll try and get through. So that's a little um, little board, and uh, so again, it's just a nice clean board. It's got the gold plating on it. Other side, it's just got a little flat pack there, and a couple little things. So you want to clean this off, and uh, just throw this in with your uh, gold fingers if you like, um, or other boards like that. Um, so yeah, so. Um, a few gold things out of the uh, bubble jet. Also, there's a just a regular circuit board. It's um, it's just a mid grade board, not a, not a high grade. Doesn't have a gold corner chip, um, but they'll still be pretty good chips if you uh, um, depopulate it yourself, or you could just sell it as a, a mid to low grade board. And uh, obviously, you're going to have a motor. So we can keep this motor um, 
you know, if you keep the wire on, on the motor, this whole, this whole piece of wire, um, this motor will work, there'll be nothing wrong with the motor. And so, you know, um, some people like to, um, you know, build up a little box of these and then just sell them on eBay as a box of motors to hobbyists and stuff. Um, so yeah, worth keeping these rather than just throwing it in motors um, because you're not gonna, you know, they're not you're not gonna get much. You're only gonna get probably you know ten cent for it. Um, whereas if you sold it, you might you know you might get a couple of bucks for it. You know, and and they do build up. If you do a lot of printers, you get you can you know it doesn't take long to get a few hundred of these. Um, so that's that's all with this basic one, and the rest of this, um, even though it's still got plastic on it, it's. It's got some steel in it and stuff, and you know you might be able to get away with um, just throwing it into scrap steel, shred, um, depends. You know, still got some ribbon wire here. I'll take. You know, so that can go into low-grade insulated wire, and the rest can just go into scrap steel usually. Um, and the second inkjet printer, um, standalone printer, is. This one, and I've gotten, I've gotten out the caddy on this. Um, as you can see, it's on one of these large bars. This one's a, you know, it's a pretty big printer. So this one's a really nice thick um, bar, and it's, you know, it's a nice machined bar and and um, quite high tensile steel. Um, with these, these actually can sell okay on eBay because there's a lot of machinists that like to. Um, you know they they make things out of bars and they like to machine it and put all sorts of grooves in it and apparently this steel is really nice to machine with uh, the guys that I know that have worked with them um, they they're really nice to machine with apparently so um, so they're definitely worth you know keeping if you're giving it to a, a friend or um, selling these you know in bulk a lot on eBay maybe uh, or just keep them you can use them for all kinds of things they're really hard steel so you can use these for all kinds of projects um, the caddy got a circuit board here um, that's behind these little gold pins and on the back of the circuit board where the pins meet so you're going to have some nice little gold plating there so this this you know apart from cleaning this little plug off um, this one's almost ready to go um, to throw into your bucket for um, precious metal recovery and then you've got your little pins and these ones just sort of pop out and so that's it so you got double sided some nice pins in there um, and so just clean these off the plastic and throw them into your little pin jar um, quite a lot of them so so they add up in this one there's uh, well, there's two four six eight of them so you know certainly does add up to your, um, you know, add up to the collection. And then uh, the rest, again, same thing, just uh, ribbon wire. Got a, uh, got a motor at the back that we can keep. It's another nice little motor, keep that. And, uh, oh, and the board, this board was underneath. Sort of like, um, yeah, it's just sort of like that. So I've taken out. As you can see, you got a, you got a power board here that you can um, either sell as a power board or take off the transformers, etc. And here, there's a nice little board. It's a high grade board because it's got the gold chip on it. And um, yeah, so this you can throw in as a high grade board or depopulate it for all the nice good bits on it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good on that one. There's also another motor here I haven't taken off yet, so I'll get that and, uh, you know, take off, oh, there's a, even a smaller one here, and then take off a few extra wires, and we'll be done with that. Um, the, uh, one of the flatbed scanner ones, this one here, is, it's just a cheapy flatbed scanner one, so again, I've taken, got a little board from the switch, but uh, not a lot in here. Still got the caddy here that I need to take off. But um, 
this one's not on a wasn't on a bar it sort of runs along this plastic tape but there is a little bar in there but sometimes they're just not worth getting out so in here we've got uh, we've got a little circuit board at the, at the back of it and you know with these gold pins these gold pins have got uh, like inside there's like a little spring gold plated springs so we take out these uh, pins and well it actually you should it's most it's most likely um, completely on, on a board on the board itself so we'd have to remove the board but I haven't haven't uh, unscrewed the board I don't have a little screwdriver for it here um, handy so but yeah so there's more pins here um, if you can see them and that little board which the pins are attached to not a great deal on this one uh, another little motor um, this, now the circuit board here is uh, it's just a mid-grade board as you can see there's no gold corner chip it's, you know it's just a, a low to mid-grade board probably call it low grade um, nothing spectacular but still get that and obviously you got your wires and a little motor and in the top part where the uh, scanner is that's you know get rid of that as glass I usually just peel off that plastic throw that in plastic and, and that in glass and uh, on this one it doesn't have a rail like a steel rail it's just on a just on a mounted plastic and it just sort of runs along the plastic here but these ones here that the cheaper ones they don't have uh, uh, those little modules where they've got the um, CCD sensor that I showed you these ones just got a little motor here and on this side you've got your lens and over the back here you've got uh, one of these uh, circuit boards there um, th there's not much usually on these circuit boards and so not much to this at all you know there's very fine gold plating you can throw these in with um, your LCD TV and monitor um, finger strip boards the, you know if you can't bother there's you know a little bit of gold plating or gold flashing if you like but not a great deal of, I mean, in these cheap ones and finally I'll get the other part of the scanner it's just falling down on me here uh, yeah this one was a Canon uh, printer scanner and so with the printer same deal just a, a low grade board here got some motors and this side it's it's just a mid-grade board or low grade um, it's got no gold corner chip but it's quite a nice little board anyway um, it's good to depopulate this one because it's got a lot of flat packs so it's not a bad board this um, uh, and, and just the caddy so with this cannon as you can see there's no there's no gold plugs on these or pins on these cannons um, inks but the reason why is there's there's kind of two di different pieces of gold plating on this if I can get this out somehow okay so that's where the uh, print cartridges go in so there's you know it's hard to see so you, you know it's easy to just throw it away without even getting to it but as you can see on the back here you got this nice little circuit board with gold plating and they're easy to come off and that's just copper wire but you got some nice you know little gold fingers here that we can take off now so see as you can see these ribbon wires um, you can see the gold here and then the copper going through there and you know some people think oh that, that's gold too no because you can actually see the the copper wire here see the difference copper gold see so you just want to cut this bit of gold off and keep that and the rest can go in low grade insulated but that's your little board and you know a little bit here take off this IC chip and you can throw this in with fingers as well and you know you've got some nice plating there um, you know 
you run your finger over it, you can feel it's quite lumpy, so it's, it's quite heavy plating. And then inside the tab, if I can get... Okay. I'll just get this out. All right, so we've got quite a bit of ribbon wire. But in here, you can see these really nice pins in here. These are my favorite type, because when you pop these, all the pins fall out and the little little gold springs come out as well so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this open right now but it's a, a really good good thing to um, to get if you can get it out I, I want to get this out so just give me a tick we'll work it out everyone's sort of different a bit and uh, so sometimes you've got to muck around. There we go. Let's get the, get it apart. So, okay. Get this out. It's like a nice little circuit board. Okay. So there you just got some, you know, aluminium capacitors so we can clean these off but uh, what we really want is this this thing here you can see the the sharp pins on this and uh, yeah they, these are really cool I, I, I like these ones because you get nice pins there's so just taking that off nothing in there now and you can see the pins all along here nice and easy we can um, we can just cut these pins off and uh, throw it into your gold pin bucket. So it's got, got you know quite a lot of pins here. So definitely worth getting. So this and uh, this part sort of matches onto that and touches all those pins. So so yep. So you don't get anything off the nothing off the ink cartridge, but it's all on here. So it's pretty cool. All right. And the last of. Not least is the uh, the top of that uh, the scanner part of the printer, and um, same deal, plastic glass. And on this one here, we have got a steel rail, so that's just another little bar. So you can see the difference between the last one and and this one, but you know they're still they're still a nice bar. So um, you know you can use these for uh, like to um, f as punches or um, anything like this you can even sharpen one end and use it as a who knows as a spear <laughs> um, but this is what I was talking about with uh, f flatbed scanners and and uh, most of the scanners on top of um, printers as long as the printer is a decent printer it's not like your che the cheapest printer scanner but a, a reasonably decent one um, you've got this little thing and uh, there's nothing really in there and you probably don't really even want to get into it because uh, I'll just show you this little thing here um, for you know for people that uh, you know like to bust into things really you know really abruptly and break everything you know you've got to be really careful with you know so picture what it is this white part here you've got to be really careful with it because uh, this is actually like a little fluorescent tube Okay, and I'll just get this off. Okay, now this part here, that's a fluorescent tube, and inside here is mercury, and it's very, very delicate. Uh, it's just like a very, you know, plasticky glass kind of thing, and you break this, so um, you're going to expose yourself to mercury. So you want to treat this with care you want to put this in with your other fluorescent tubes um, or LCD screens and send it to a recycler to get this properly recycled because you know if you break these you're going to have bits of glass and mercury everywhere and uh, you know and you don't want to you know expose your um, own property with toxins so be very careful with them um, usually I just leave them inside and I send the whole unit to a recycler to to handle. Um, but in this, you know, but obviously that's after I take off 
the um, CCD sensor. So I showed you the CCD sensors at the start of the, the video and, and so this is what they're all about. So you always make sure you, you take this out and at least get to this back part. And they come off pretty easily. Two screws. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So another one to add to the collection. And, you know, a bonus, it's, it's the gold one. So as you can see, it's got nice gold legs on both sides and we've got gold inside there so other side it's just a it's just nothing so this is the part we want but i just keep this complete and put it into my ccd sensor box um, just stack these up and one day when uh, um, i decide to do it i'll i'll take off all these ccd sensors and i'll process them um, as i would process a ic chip okay in um, you know like uh, burning it and uh, getting the ash and and then um, extracting the gold and silver from the ash but so uh, yeah they're the CCD sensors um, I reckon they make a really nice collection so uh, you build them up I've got uh, a bucket full of them now and um, but yeah I'll just keep building them up as long as I get flatbed scanners or scanners on printers all right well that's it guys um, bubble jet printers, inkjet printers, and uh, scanner units on top. Um, that's all I got. Well, have fun. Keep scrapping and keep um, accumulating your little bits of gold for precious metal recovery. Um, it all adds up. All these little pins and stuff. All right. Uh, well, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.